Hello, my name is Aiden Gould, and I would like to show you some of my LEGO creations. I do not use kits because I like to, to make my own stuff. I can remote control this fully functional steering monster truck. It has a suspension system to let it go on any kind of terrain, and the big tires help for clearance. As you can see, it can go back reverse too. This is a rack and uh, pinion steering system. There it is working. It has a worm gear to slow the engine down. It has enough suspension to let me stomp on it and it can keep going. It has a differential system to help when going around curves. It is all wheel drive. I had to design a complicated lever system with a spring to allow me to eject the battery pack for battery changing. I got the idea for a scissor lift when they were painting something high up at the grocery store. I decided to build one of my own. I made a motorboat after seeing a real one function. I designed and built the model. It actually works in a real lake. This is my bucket arm side dump truck, truck that took me a year to build. I had to special order parts on Berklink and trade with my friends to get all the right parts that I needed. The linear actuators make the arm fully functional and movable. It has a double scoop so that it can lift bigger loads. It also has a side dump in the back and a winch in the front. It is completely remote control. The linear actuators allow me to convert the motor's circular motion into linear motion, allowing me to move levers in the arm. It takes many scoops to fill the giant side dump. Now you'll see the side dump in action. Underneath the side dump, there are gears and a linear actuator to make the side dump uh, move upward. Also, in the back of the truck, all of the wires are fed into a power source, the, uh, which is the battery pack in the middle of the truck with rechargeable batteries. Next, I'm going to show you a Mindstorm, which is a LEGO product that allows you to program robots that you build. Here I am programming a robot. I have a visual programming environment that I will download to the NXT brick, which is the big brick that you can see on the robot. I will download the program to the bot and then it can run. This particular robot is set to run a maze. There is a sensor on the front that is ultrasonic, kind of like what bats use to see. It is seeing the walls and avoiding them. Here is the ultrasonic sensor, which is mounted on a rotating head. This is a bionic hand that I made. The linear actuator that is pulling back the strings is acting as a muscle. I modeled this because there are actually no muscles in the hand, they are all in the wrist. The strings are acting as tendons which pull the fingers. The fingers have three joints in them to make them grip properly. I learned a lot of this in fifth grade with Miss Jones. She taught me about how all of the tendons and muscles worked in your arm. I'm, and then I went home and modeled it with Legos. I had to order special parts on BrickLink in order to make the model work. I made one finger first and then followed with the rest of the fingers. So I had to imagine what all the other fingers were going to look like. The frame was one of the hardest parts. I had to get all of the angles perfect. The tips of the fingers were also hard to design. I had to make sure that it would be grippy enough without being too big or too expensive. It, can, it has trouble gripping uh, smoother surfaces, but if there are any kinds of bumps, the, grippy, uh, on the, the grippers on the tips will uh, dig in and it can lift it. 
it is spring-loaded and very powerful. I got the idea for it to be spring-loaded and then have a, mu a fake muscle to be released from a Popular Mechanics article. I modeled it off of my dad's hands to get all of the angles correct. Here it is synced to one muscle. Each finger had to be carefully designed. These are so that each finger can move a different amount. I had to engineer the arm so that the red levers could make sure that the tendons weren't slack. This picture shows the special curve in the thumb's tendon. You can, If you look at your own thumb, it, it must curve in order to make your thumb function. This particular project took a lot of trial and error. Some things didn't work and I would have to stop and think about how I could make them work. This project made me appreciate how complicated and multifunctional the human hand is. Legos are a great engineering tool. Thanks for watching.